Hi Sonoma County, it is Monday, October 12th. Cheers to all of you. I'm drinking uh, a dry, crisp, uh, white Italian wine. Um, no Sonoma County wine here at the hotel. I'm, I'm now in Rome, Italy. Uh, so cheers to all of you. I wanted to, um, as I uh, got started or in Rome here, I wanted to just sort of uh, recap my final weekend in Copenhagen because I had the chance to do a pretty, a pretty incredible thing and that was go do an overnight stay on a family farm. So on Saturday morning, um, which was on October 10th, um, we actually, my, my Copenhagen uh, fellowship crew, there's five of us traveling together, got picked up and we were escorted um, out of town about an hour and a half to the island of Funen. Um, where we actually got to spend the day, and we were um, got to were invited into the home and farmstead of Anders Christian Oik, who uh, was also also a European uh, Marshall Memorial Fellow uh, a couple of years ago. And so um, it's really interesting to meet these European fellows and think about uh, the relationship of the European fellows going over to learn about the U.S. and the U.S. fellows coming over to learn about Europe. Um, but what was really incredible is that. I got to spend the weekend with a fourth generation farmer in Denmark. Um, and so what an incredible opportunity to talk farming and agriculture and local foods and um, really talk about entrepreneurship and family farming and family business. And so Anders actually came back and took over the family farm, like I said, he's fourth generation. And they have what would be the equivalent, equivalent of about 1,200 acres of farmland. Um, they have a Christmas tree farm and they also... Uh, grow a lot of what he would call value-added um, grain and and so they work with a couple of different um, processors uh, for, th for that product but um, even at the 1200 acres and they also farm an additional 800 acres um, in the in the direct area for another family so that's about 2,000 acres they can't really uh, make the ends meet when it comes to to farming and so alone and so they were looking for a creative way to be able to keep the family farm and also and be farmers um, but also have enough money to to make it economically viable so he did something really interesting. He created a real agritourism opportunity. So something I think we're all thinking more about in Sonoma County, especially I know the Wine Grape Commission, we have our vineyard uh, adventures, our, our uh, vineyard walks that you can do, and we're working on really updating and making that program more relevant for people who visit Sonoma County or locals. Uh, but he created what um, what he called Gorilla Park, which is actually like a, a, ropes, um, a ropes challenge course. And so... Uh, they get, I guess, in the first year, it's a couple of years old now. Their um, their target is to get about twelve thousand visitors a year to Gorilla Park. He um he then opened a subsequent location about an hour away. So between the two, they get about twenty five thousand visitors a year. And um, part of it is a really intro uh, ropes challenge course for kids. So you're kind of um you know you're hooked up on a a line and you. You know, you climb a tree and you do different activities, you know, a rope ladder or, you know, coming, kind of scaling over or um, different challenges, which are really fun. And then there's a pretty intense uh, zip lining course. And so um, actually one of my fellows and I thought we were just headed up to do one zip line around 530 in the evening. And it turned out that uh, there was really no down point. You had to zip line across the entire forest area where this agritourism um, thing, uh, property was, was put up. So by the time I was done, I had climbed multiple of trees and had zipped a line, um, about a mile around the property. Uh, and it was 10 different sort of trees and 10 different zip lines down to get back to the beginning. And so, um, it was quite an adventure. I have to say I'm still a little sore um, from that climbing because I thought I was just doing one line and ended up doing 10. Uh, but I think it was pretty interesting because I asked him, you know, I've talked a lot about Denmark and its incentive to be an entrepreneur or even um, really focus on promotion within an organization. And, you know, with the taxation system, it's really hard in Denmark to, to be focused on that or to be inspired, motivated to do that. And, you know, Anders gave a pretty um, a compelling um, statement that around that it is hard and that, you know, being an entrepreneur was not something um, that he sought out to do, but was really necessary to keep the family farm. And so... 
it really goes to kind of the heart of what we're, we're doing in Sonoma County and how important it is to think about the economic viability piece of sustainability in our on our mission to be 100% sustainable because if we can't make our businesses economically viable and our farms viable, you know, we're not going to keep them and that land's not going to stay preserved in agriculture. And so uh, it was a great opportunity to do that. I have to admit, we spent the night in a house that was built in 1740 and literally had um, dinner at this in this dining room. It was amazing. A chandelier that still had candles. So we ate, literally ate dinner by candlelight um, and got to wake up the next morning and see the fields and the Christmas tree farm. And just fascinating. I mean, I think, you know, at the core of it, what I'm realizing is, you know, that kind of that slogan, what we'd say in Sonoma County, farmers are farmers. I think that's very globally true. Farmers are farmers. And so the things that they worry about and the things they get excited about are pretty similar and their attachment to the land and their stewardship of the land is very similar. That's a thread that runs um, just in being sort of a caretaker of the land and being a farmer. So proud to be working for all of the Sonoma County and Marin County farmers um, in the wine grape growing um, area. I'm very, I'm very proud to work for all of you and humbled by all that you do and, and so um, excited and motivated um, by all of that you give back to the community and how hard you all work. So I got to see it from the other end out here in Copenhagen and just wanted to, or outside of Copenhagen and in the island of Funen, and wanted to share that story. And important for us to look at ways to be innovative, even on our farms, and to invite people in to, to learn about farming in a kind of a creative way. So um, for now, I'm signing off. I'm in Rome. Lots of great stories on learning about Italy and in Rome and this other piece of sort of Southern Europe ahead, I'm sure. So for now, I'm signing off. Have a great evening. Cheers to all of you back home.